This is a cabbie van which measures 744 centimeters, but it says under three and a half tons and it claims it can take two to four people. Well, uh, it, that sounds all very positive to me. So let's have a look inside. Before I go uh, any further, I need to tell you that uh, there will be more information in the description. Uh, I hope, and if there isn't, then you might want to tell me. Uh, one thing about cabby vans is they look very Swedish, which isn't a surprise as they come from Sweden. Uh, on the other hand, I need to point out that this being very Swedish means they're often rather dark. This one here is rather dark. Uh, let's have a look at some of the features here. So first of all, this will come out. I'm sorry, I'll have to push, whoops. Press this thing here and uh, this thing here comes out. If it doesn't get in the way, this thing here comes out. There will be a mattress lying around somewhere, I don't know where, which will fill in there and then you'd have an enormous bed. Uh, uh, right, up the top we've got this ledge, can't see the point of that at all. And uh, then you've got at the back the storage. Uh, they have thought or not to put some places to charge your telephone as well as uh, so you've got USBs, you've got 12 volts, you've got 230 volts back there. 230 volts of course, assuming that you're on hookup unless you wire it through the inverter. Uh, mattress topper, that's very unusual, I don't see many of them at all. In, uh, uh, they come with the van that is. And a th very thick mattress. There's a lot of people in here so I won't sort of start jumping on it. And uh, in here there's a bit of storage and very nice, usual place to put storage. And on the other side too. Now, cabbie is pretty expensive. I didn't tell you the price, did I? I forgot. Uh, well, it's, it's, it's a lot if you... I'll tell you on the way out. I like to tell the price up front so that nobody nobody gets shocked. Right, and in here we have got... There you go. Light works. Um, very large shower, in my opinion. Uh, very nicely appointed shower. Yep. Oh yeah, that's really good. There's, I mean, assuming there's a duckboard. If there is a duckboard, it wouldn't win my Shower of the Air award because I'd need to have two, two drainage holes and a domestic ones at that to get that. But on the whole, and it would need a sliding door. Uh, but it looks nice if it only put those improvements in. And here on the other side, first of all, a fridge. Same fridge as everybody uses. And uh, three burners and a sink. Storage below, nicely done. And there's an oven as well. And there's not many uh, motorhomes with an oven, at least not here in Germany. In Britain, there's thousands of them. You c there's a central locking device here. For the uh, for the these the the, 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 the the drawers, I have to, I'll leave it open because somebody can come in and sort of rip the things out. Uh, um, just in case I forget to open it again. People come to this thing, this event, and they break a lot of stuff. And what they don't break, I usually break. So that's the way it works. Uh, storage above, table down here. I think the table actually could be improved one. It could be, there's a lot more space there. Obviously the front chairs will turn round, but I do think that lounge could be improved upon. That's that's my opinion. Uh, a lot of light would come in there, unless you're in Sweden, and in Sweden in the winter, in which case a lot of darkness would flood in. Uh, let's see how this thing here works. There, that's your television. Here, there's a step up which seems odd to me, to say the least. I do appreciate it has to join the cab somewhere. But I don't see why the steps here. 
I'm standing up now. Yeah, I'll show you. Turn the thing around. There's me, right? So there's, a, you know, see, there's the space above my head, and looking down, the floor, uh, the ceiling, uh, doesn't. It's the same height, so I don't see why. That, I don't know. Don't know why it's happened. There may be a very good technical reason, but it's something I uh, am unaware of. Ah, uh, here we have a mirror so we can check what we look like as we leave the uh, uh, the van. You wouldn't want to look. You wouldn't want to look dodgy. And at this moment, I'll tell you the price, which is in excess of 160,000 euros. And here, oh, I see something up here. See the way they it slopes. That is normally because there's a bed up there. But if there's a bed up there, it's an invisible one. And that's not a bad idea, actually, an invisible bed. As long as it doesn't get in your way. You don't bang your head on it. Uh, uh, garage at the back. Tool on the store uh, awning. And, uh, right. No, it's, it is very expensive, I know, but it's, it's, it really is a rather flash brand. And so, and it's just, it says there, it's new. Uh, don't know how long it takes for delivery. A long time, I suspect. Just speaking to some gentleman out here, and he told me he bought one last year, and they said it was still going to be several months uh, beforehand. So, uh, that, but he wanted to know uh, my YouTube address. So you could look up, probably so you can show other people what it looks like, as well as getting uh, my my opinion. So three and a half tons. What I don't have, and what wasn't written, was the was the weight. But if that really is, uh, so I don't I don't know what the payload is, which is which which is a pity. Um, I'll see if I can get it though and put it in the description. That's always possible. Yeah, I'll show you one or two vans. I'll just take you around a quick quick look what else we've got here see these are really very 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 attractive uh, vehicles here uh, but one of the problems in these big things though they're 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 very wide i think it's 238 centimeters in width which is a problem i think person for me it's a problem i mean i know the people lorry drivers driving wider things but uh i'm not much good when it comes to driving wide vehicles Let's see if we can get in here. This one costs 170,000, uh, just, uh, just to make the point. There's the bed and the roof. Quite honest, this one he looks just about the same. Except for the, um, well, the founder, found a way of putting some shelves here. That was, that's a very positive sign. Should have done that in the other one. Oh, very, just about the same to me. It's probably a good reason why that's covered. If you know what it is, let me know. Uh, you can see here how the, the, the how much it comes out. So we've got the Mercedes uh, at the front, but the sides that you know comes out a really long way. So this is the final day at Caravan Salon uh, this year. So this is the 2023 range. 2023 range and most people will be won't be getting it in 2023 uh, which which is uh, I think somewhat unfortunate waiting times are horrendous but having said that waiting times on Mercedes aren't quite as bad as they are on um, Fiat for example this makes it very difficult for uh, companies because the, the supply problems they don't know when vehicles or even parts will be in stock and they can't really put the thing on a production line 
Uh, the, uh, oh, oh, I'll show this as well. <laughs> the uh, Cabo uses Alde, which is also a Swedish company. Uh, it uses glycol for heating. Uh, it can ha have um, uh, floor heating, like as you can sort of see see there. Um, I have under under floor heating in my vehicle as well, um, which I think is reasonably pleasant. And there's the boiler, which is considerably larger than the uh, Truma boiler. On the right, we have the cabby camper van, which comes at a cost uh, of around 150,000 euros. So thanks for watching, I hope you found that interesting and uh, if you did you might want to subscribe. I upload every day at 21.15 and there's lots of vehicles on this site which is the largest selection of vehicles, or, or motorhomes and camper vans that you will find on YouTube. Thanks for watching.